Now we're going to prepare the tanks at the front and the back of your boat. These provide some flotation. It's important to remember that when you build your tanks, the top of the tank has to sit over the top of the vertical part of the tank to protect the wood grain when you sit on it and during use. It's also important that you remember to coat the inside of the tanks with epoxy before you fit them later to seal them and protect them from rot. Now you're going to take part 15, a long strap of wood, and screw part 4 and part 5, and then part 6 and part 7 onto it to form the seat part, it looks like a seat, of the buoyancy tanks. Then you're going to do a trial fit up, press them right down into the bottom panel, and get your grown up to hold the bow to make sure the boat doesn't move. Test fitting the tanks takes quite a bit of patience and a lot of clamps. You might need to pop the tanks in and out many times and shave off little bits of wood as you go to make sure that you get the perfect fit. It's well worth spending the time to do this now. You can use a block plane to shave off strips of wood that rub no. on the bottom of the boat no, to make sure again. you get the right fit. If you don't get the right fit now, it's going to be very difficult to seal the boat later on. Once you do have a good fit, hold the boat's tanks down and use a pencil to mark where they sit all around the buoyancy tanks. After you've done that, you can remove the tanks and we'll move on to the next part fiberglassing. Here you're going to remove the mid frame and use fiberglass tape to make every join on the inside of your boat strong. Then you're going to fit your skeg, which is the little tail that sticks out underneath your boat, and seal or paint your whole boat with epoxy. After that we're going to permanently fit your two buoyancy tanks and then put the mid frame back in. This part of the build is the most tricky and the most messy. It's really important to take your time and watch each step as you need to over and over again if you have to before you do the section. Now we're going to prepare to put the fiberglass tape over the sections that the panels join together. We'll start on the outside of the boat and then turn the boat over once that's all dry, remove the mid frame and put the fiberglass tape on the inside. To begin with, on the outside of the boat hull, Mark a line 20 millimeters from the join of each panel. This gives you a guide on where to put your fiberglass tape. You can use the measuring gauge that you made earlier to do this. Then you're going to cut lengths of fiberglass tape long enough for each seam. You'll probably need your grown up to help you with this. Fiberglass tape can be very messy and very difficult to cut if you don't have sharp scissors. Don't forget to sand your seams nice and flat before you apply your epoxy, or they'll have nothing to stick to. We have used the fiberglass, we've mixed it all, and we're gonna cut the fiberglass tape into strips, put them on the cardboard, wet them down, and put them on the boat with the roller. Here you can see the tape has been epoxied onto all of the seams on the outside of the hull. We had a little bit of epoxy left over because we mixed too much, so Jean is rollering a coat of epoxy over all of the panels on the outside of the boat to help seal it. Now it's time to take the inside of your boat, but to do that, you're going to have to remove the mid frame. Once you have removed the mid frame, repeat the process for taping the outside of the boat on the inside. You'll have to pay particular attention to the bow of the boat. This can be a little bit difficult, so you might need to use a brush instead of a roller to apply the epoxy onto the tape and get it in place. A skeg is a small tail that sits underneath your boat and helps to steady your boat in the water. There's a 12mm plywood skeg in your kit, but if you want, you can cut out a solid timber skeg using that as a template. At this stage, you're going to turn your boat over, but for demonstration purposes here, we've just got the panels. Measure a line up the center of panel one from the aft end to about as long as the skeg. That's where the skeg will sit. And then drill three holes along the center line. Get someone to hold your skeg in place while you screw from the inside of the boat into the skeg. Then unscrew the skeg once it's fitted and paint epoxy on the bottom of the skeg to seal it. 
Then finally, re-screw the skeg in place and you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so now we have planed the corners of the mid-frame. So as you can see here, here and here, so it will fit over the fiberglass strips. And we'll cable tie, so we'll put glue where it is, like this stuff. It's nasty. And uh, cable tie it in until it's dry. So make sure that you use gloves for this, but now we're going to put the epoxy stuff all along the edges to stabilise it and keep the mid frame in so it doesn't pop out. Now we're going to fit our buoyancy tanks permanently into the My First Boat. This is going to take some patience and some strength to get them to go together. Take your time and check it regularly to make sure everything you've done lines up. For the first step, you'll prepare the buoyancy tanks. Plane and sand the top edge and corner of the tank, where your knees would bend over them if you sat on it in the boat, to a smooth curve. This is really important or the fiberglass tape won't wrap over the edge and stick. Next you're going to plane the back corners of the buoyancy tank, just like with your mid-frame. This is to make sure that the new epoxy fillet that's been added since your dry fitting is accommodated for. Plane the forward point and corners of the front tank to allow for the epoxy fillets as well. And double check that you have sealed the inside of the tanks with your boat coat epoxy resin to make sure that you can get a complete seal. Now you're going to fit and glue your tanks. Find as many clamps as you can and some small wooden blocks Clamp the transom former into place and position both your tanks using the pencil marks you made earlier. To clamp your planks in, use small wooden blocks sitting up to the edge of where the gunnel will be. Clamp the wooden block to the edge of the boat. Once your tanks fit well, mix your epoxy. Glue the tanks in place with boat coat epoxy filiferra between each clamped wooden block. This will leave little spots that you'll have to come back for later. Once it's gone off, remove the blocks and go over the gaps. Then remove your wooden brace. After the epoxy glue has set, sand the dry boat coat epoxy filiferra that is holding the mid-frame and tanks in place to prepare for fiberglass taping. Fiberglass taping the joins on the inside of the boat that hold the mid-frame and buoyancy tanks in place is more complex than fiberglass taping for the long panel joins on the inside and outside of the hull. Make sure you take your time and use a paintbrush to help you to wet the tape if you need to. Rollers may not fit into these spaces. Continue until all your seams around the front and aft tanks and the mid-frame are taped and then allow them to dry. It's really important not to leave any air bubbles on the tape during this step. Well done, now you're ready for the final stage of your My First Boat build, finishing your boat.